in lesson 1 we had the idea about what is active cell and introduction to microsoft excel uh, next uh, point is about the shortcut keys which is used in microsoft excel so these are very important no? uh, and uh, you should memorize this how this works as example arrow keys if you get moving a single cell in any direction example so you can see active cell is now a1 cell if you press right arrow key you can see it moves right one cell by one cell if you press down arrow key it goes one cell by one cell down uh, left arrow key it moves uh, one cell by one cell to the left likewise you can move it this is very important for us when we are uh, working uh, uh, with this excel and likewise you press this all the shortcut keys keep your uh, curse on the middle or somewhere in, uh, middle any cell you press this one and see how this works okay this is very important part children it's a very important to know and you need to memorize for your all level exam next uh, is cell addressing it's so very important to know about how to sell address okay we'll learn how we can understand that now you all knows uh, this cell address is c2 but if we selected multiple cells example this here i have selected a1 a2 a3 but it will show you here only the a1 but the, this one uh, this range if you are mentioning to excel when you are performing uh, uh, some calculation uh, we, there is a method of writing even uh, exam if they ask what is this range we are not writing a1 this is consist of a1 a2 and a3 you can see i have selected after selection uh, the first cell uh, always it's white and this is dark like ash color that's how uh, that is the nature of uh, how it uh, works after selection then how we can name this uh, selected range here you can see uh, i have selected this one and uh, th this is we are naming the first cell and the last cell the first cell is a1 colon the last cell is a3 understand children the first cell is this one that is a1 that is we are writing in our paper or when you are typing in excel you are typing a1 after that you need to type colon two dots that is there in your computer when you are typing that is especially you should know where it is and after that we are mentioning last cell then this is a3 we'll get another experience so what about uh, if i selected this one what is the range now you can you know uh, have experience c1 is the first one after that c3 is the last one when we are writing we are writing like this c1 colon c3 what about this one so if i selected a little bit more cells uh, you can see first cell is b5 the last cell is b9 so then this is b5 then last one is b9 then b5 colon b9 that's how you all have to write okay and uh, don't forget to copy down these uh, notes in uh, into your excel uh, book it's very important this is the topic is a uh, naming cell range the topic is naming cell range okay now again uh, we'll go back to excel what if i selected two columns like this how we can uh, name this one uh, we already know one uh, column but we have here multiple columns and multiple rows here so earlier multiple rows and one column but here two columns so how we can mention always keep it in your mind first cell and the last cell uh, this case if you get this is the first cell children and this is the last cell then according to that one first cell is a1 children last cell is b3 then we can name this is a1 colon b3 look at this children i have made a note for you all okay now the same uh, selected area so this is you can see this is a1 and the last one is b3 then a1 colon b3 so then uh, think whether if we have selected in this manner so i have selected a and b columns and the d column and i want to select this f1 and the g1 you think there are some numbers in there you want to perform calculation so this case how we can name uh, this range you can see this is uh, as a one set you can uh, name this one as a one set you can name this one and this is you have to name separately this is you have to name separately how we can do this one uh, and this range is uh, you know a1 colon b3 and when you are writing you need to put a comma because if that other uh, columns or other selected area which is not close to it 
so this is uh, we are not selected this C column we selected uh, D column so then uh, after uh, writing like this a1 colon p3 then you can write a comma after that d1 colon d3 then you have to write a comma after that you can name f1 comma after that last cell is g3 then uh, type uh, you can write g3 now how it is look like after we draw you need to draw this in your writing book so after that you uh, uh, so how I name this one you can see this range is a1 and b3 this is the first one this is the last one and after that I uh, type comma when you're writing in your book you need to write comma after that this range we are, I'm going to mention this is the legal method this is I'm mentioning this one d1 colon d3 and after that this is a single cell which is not you know uh, selected with this one this is f1 after that g3 and uh, uh, same time uh, you can uh, name we'll think this one this one if you get you can name in another uh, another uh, way how a1 comma b uh, sorry uh, a1 uh, a2 and a3 by uh, applying comma you can write after that you can start uh, here this b range b1 comma b2 comma b3 but this is long method we are not going to use it but sometimes it is needed when we are performing calculation but this is a, you know perfect method to you know naming a cell range okay you need to draw this in your book it's a compulsory after that uh, uh, write this uh, how to name this uh, selected range uh, so children uh, after that uh, that is about naming a cell range now you got experience there is a small uh, assignment is given see whether you can name this it is very uh, that is very easy for you all to do it it is a very important part keep it in your mind and have a good idea about that thank you children